Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We're in Bowser's Castle and we're in the Sixth Door. This is uh, an interesting place. There are six different rooms, obviously, that uh, and you have to go through four of them to proceed. Now I'm going to go through all six because obviously I want to show you what all six of them are. But uh, I'm going to be uh, only com only saving the completion of four of them. Four in particular. Um, but yeah, so these six doors there are hide three different types of rooms. Two battle rooms, battle gauntlet rooms. Uh, two action rooms, and two puzzle rooms. Uh, there's a, so there's a pretty wide variety of challenges associated with them. Also, I'm going to uh, switch Bowser back into the party because I want him there. Alright, I'm just going to go left to right then. Uh, starting at door one. I, uh, also, the rooms are randomized, so this... Uh, Once you're within a door, everything is the same, but what you get behind each door is different on each playthrough. So, what's behind door one, door one for me won't be what's behind door one for you, necessarily. That said, let's go. Ah, this is one of the puzzle rooms. We have Dr. Topper. Heh, <laughs> I'm the quiz master, but you can call me Dr. T. You into coin collecting? Heh. <laughs> Want instructions? I'll, uh... I don't need instructions, because I know all the games here, but uh, I'm going to let him, uh... explain it. There's tw there are 21 coins in this box. We'll take turns removing them. The one who takes the last coin is the loser. You can grab four at once. If you want to grab only one or two, press A where you want to stop. Got it? Okay, so this game, theoretically, should be impossible to lose. But it is possible if you're not paying attention. I'll take four to start. He'll take one. So now there's five. Now there's 16 left. You don't want to take the last one. So what you want is to have Dr. Topper take the 16th... Uh, take the 16th coin. 5, 7, 8, 9. Doesn't matter until we get to that point. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, I just screwed it up. 16, because now he can take 4. And I'm stuck with the last one. Losing on one of these challenges doesn't really do anything except just send you back to these rooms. And it's actually a good idea to lose on the puzzle challenges because there's the least you get the least useful bonuses at the end. Fifteen. Now, whatever he does, I win. Heh, <laughs> you win. Nothing to it, right? It really isn't. I just, I really was not paying attention early on, and I should not have lost that. I think the first person who starts that should win every time. I don't remember that for sure, but... The topic, you ask? Magic buttons. Step on one button and reverse the surrounding buttons. So on becomes off and off becomes on. Get it? Let's see if you can set them all to on. Can you do it? Yes, this one is actually very easy. Puzzles like this can be tricky, but this one, there's 16. So all you need to do is knock down four each time. Dr. Jopper's a strange one. 
Now the topic is ball solitaire. When you kick a ball, it'll leapfrog an adjacent ball, which will then disappear. Keep making balls disappear until only one remains. You lose if you kick a ball into a space already occupied by another ball. The ball you kick must always leapfrog another ball. Got it? Okay, this one, there's a very particular sequence. I don't know that I remember what it is. Yeah, these are not actually the easiest puzzles in the world. And I'm gonna have three balls left. Well, I wanted to show off the solution to that one at least, so give me just one second. Alright, let's try this. Start off with these two. And then you do this one. Now, then you want these two. Then you go like this. Whoa. Already you can see this is sorted out better than it was before. Take care of these, uh, take care of these top rows. Now you're in a good shape. You want them to be as constrained as possible. here, down here, and like this, and like this, and you're home free. And for beating this one, you get a rock candy. Not bad, but uh, there are better prizes to be had. So let's head back. Alright. It's time for door number two. This is an action stage. So, in this first one, you just need to jump from platform to platform. You lose a few coins if you get uh, uh, tossed into the lava there. There are some useful items to be found in the areas as well. Now this uh, this area you can't fight the enemies. These bombs are just here to get your way. So watch out for them. Oh, and there's a, another rock candy. Kara Caracol is coming up right where you're at here. you notice that it said that you have... It gave you a number of tries at the top. If you fail, if you get, uh... Fail the challenge enough times, you have to redo the entire, uh, sequence. Don't need that max mushroom. This one is difficult just because it's uh, reverse controls. Oh, and that's what happens if a bob bomb gets to you. This one makes you start over at the beginning of the room. Grab some coins to replenish that lost. 
flower, and I believe that gets me maxed out on flowers at this point. Yes, it does. Cool beans. That's a complete waste of Kara Caracola, but I've got too many of them. This one I find to be one of the most difficult. It's tough to get that rotation just right. And if you're even if you're successful in getting the uh, chest, you might end up getting yourself knocked into the lava. And you won't always be successful in getting the chest either. Like that. Puts me down to five chances. Even though I'm so full up on items, I still want to try and get the chests. Just so you guys know what's inside them. And that one's got a royal serum. Delicious FP recovery. I honestly prefer to uh, jump off of uh, the diagonals, which is, in my, uh, from my perspective, the straights. Wow. Only four screw ups left before major trouble. This one has a pick me up in it. Two is probably more than I need. Two more chests in here. This one down here and the one right up near the exit. This probably isn't the most optimal way to go. Hey, it's a fire bomb. Well, I could sack a pick me up for that. Use that in the battle rooms. I'll toss something that I'm not going to use. Candy. Well, we got three chances left. Yeah, when you, once you get down a little further, they, they start to get a little bit desperate. Got a Sonic symbol. This is Mallow's ultimate weapon. Ultimate sounds a little bit excessive, but yeah, it is his most powerful weapon in the game. Now you see that door number two has been blocked off. You can push against it all you want, but it's not gonna open up. Now let's try door number three. Ah, this is another puzzle stage. Hey, 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 it's me, the quiz master, and it's quiz time! This one is just gonna be questions. So you need to answer questions correctly to move on. If you answer them incorrectly, you, it makes it a lot harder to get to, to move on. And you can't just uh, spend a lot of time mulling over the answers. What's the password in the sunken ship? It's Pearls! It's the full name of the boss of the sunken ship. Jonathan Jones. The boy who has a picture taken at Merrimore can't wait till which season? I think it's skiing season. What does the red essence do? Uh, it makes you invulnerable, but gives you strength is the closest thing to that. First monster you see in uh, Pipeball is Sparky. How long have, the, have the couple inside the chapel been waiting for their wedding? Um, I think it's, a, yeah, half an hour. What does Birdo come out of? An eggshell. Roped you up the cliff, the land's end. Sky Troopas. Don't make the mistake of using, doing Sky Troops. Alright. This one's a this one is a barrel counting puzzle. Ten seconds. Tell me the number of barrels. 
Now, what you have to do here is uh, use your multiplication. So, you can see that there are a couple, that there's a cube and some extras around there. The cube has eight in it. There's one, two, three, four, five around it. So the answer is 13. But they know that because that one's easy, they give you another one. Use whatever strategy you feel is preferable, but me, I prefer to go by cubes. So I know that a cube of 3 is 27. So then there's 5 off to the left, 4 on top, and 8 uh, down below. So 27, 32, 36, 44. It helps to be good at mental math for that. This is a logic puzzle. This is a difficult one, uh, if you're not really paying attention. It took me a big bit to figure out exactly how this works, but now, I, now that I know, it's really pretty straightforward. Boo, goo, bones, and kip completed in a triathlon. The triathlon ex included swimming, cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came from. Listen well, you're gonna, only going to hear the story once. So there are different statements which indicate who came in uh, which place. I came in third for swimming. That guy did not do well in the triathlon. He was last place. I fell into fourth place during the bike race, but finally ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. So we know it wasn't third, and we know it wasn't fourth, so he must have been second in biking and swimming. So he was fairly decent. I placed the swim same in the swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. So, we know that, uh... So, let's see if you can follow this. We know he didn't come in third in swimming and cycling. We know he didn't come... We also know that, uh... Two others beat him in the marathon. So... Uh, the winner of the marathon was probably the winner. I rode Goo on my bike, and Goo was never able to pass me. That guy came in first, overall. So, in this case... I believe it's... I believe it, the order is Kip, Bones, Goo, and Boo. The statements are always the, the same, so if I have the order wrong, it's within those middle ones. So Goo was never able to pass him, so he came in first. Hmm. Now that I think about it... Yeah, I think, no, it was Goo, because this guy's bragging about beating Goo. You don't brag about beating the third place person. So he came in, uh, he came in some good places overall, but wasn't quite, uh, didn't quite, uh, meet the, didn't quite get to the end of it as well as he could have. Bones had a little bit of trouble in some of the events. They must have fallen behind in a couple of them, and really behind in the marathon. Two others beat him in the marathon, so... That would be Goo and Kip. And Boo... Yeah, he just didn't do very well overall. Yeah, those mi the middle ones, I kind of... Uh, I kind of forgot which order was which there. It's, uh, it's hard to, some of the, it's hard to parse them when they're not laid out in front of you. And that's the end of the puzzles. This one also gives you a rock candy, but, uh, not only do I not need it, I'm not even finishing this. Because, 
behind doors 4, 5, and 6 are useful things. Much more useful things. Ah, you know what? Instead of going in 4 first, I'm going to go in five, uh, 5 first. I want to do a battle arena before I uh, go through the, the action sequence again, because there are some more items to be gotten from there. So I need to clear out my inventory a bit. And I've got Bowser in there. Uh, Bowser might scare away a couple of the enemies, but at this point there's going to be a lot of enemies that are from all over the game, so... Hey, it's Red Magic Koopa! <laughs>
to 609. Oh! And we have Chester. Chester is going to produce Bahamut. Both of these enemies are going to need to get a bit of uh, screen time, so let's show them off. Iron Maiden is basically fear inducing, but Bowser is immune to fear. Sandstorm is also fear inducing. Mario is not immune to fear, so he's going to take a little bit of damage. Fortunately, I can hug that right away. There's more they can do, so. Mega Recover. Recovering HP is uh, something that is always a little nerve wracking here. I'm able to do it. Almond is a fair amount of HP, so I can probably be a bit. Maybe not. Because he has less HP than I thought. Does not fare well under the power of the gym. He does have a lot of HP though, so you're not gonna take him down right off the bat. And also make him recover, so he can do that too. And this is in fact the last of the uh, mimics, even though he doesn't really have that much of a mimic since he was spawned. But you can always come back to fight him. Uh, you can go through these rooms over and over. You can go through these rooms every time you enter Bowser's castle. Me in this room, we get a Drill Claw! Bowser has his ultimate. 